Tomorrow is the official Giving Tuesday for 2020, but it's not just giving that folks are asked to do. One Midwest city wants to end violence in their area, and Brittany Flowers has more. If you're in the Lansing area, you definitely know somebody who's been affected by um, domestic or sexual violence. Our statistics tell us that. Lansing-based nonprofit End Violent Encounters, better known as EVE, is encouraging people to step up in some way this Giving Tuesday. It's a global movement that started in 2012, aimed at encouraging people to help their community in some way, whether it's through financial donations to a local charity or a simple act of kindness. That's kind of a push for an entire community to come together. Joy Wittenberg, the director of resource development with EVE, says they're working to raise $1,400 for a scholarship fund launched last year. Um, we raised enough money to actually pay for um, a student to start a semester, two semesters actually, of college. And the $1,400 is our goal because we want to pay for her books. A survey of 164 domestic violence survivors showed more than three-fourths of them were not able to enroll in school. Wittenberg says there are several factors that play into that. First of all, there's a lot of um, negative and emotional abuse when you're in an abusive relationship telling you that you're not good enough, that you can't do the things that you want to do. Wittenberg adds there's also physical and financial abuse. Eve hopes that by providing the means, they can help survivors pursue their goals. And as people think about which organizations they'll support on Tuesday. It's extremely important that people uh, give their money to places that matter to them. So if that's Eve, that's fantastic. But if it's not Eve, if you care about a different mission, I would encourage you find the one that speaks to you and that matters to you. Whether it's $5 or 500 Wittenberg says anything you can do to help your community will only make it better.